I'm tuned in with the voice of the youth, Taco yeah. Talks TV, man. Y'all know why you ballin', man. Go shit only. <laughs> y'all know what the fuck going on. We made it too. But look though, uh, you know we run the motherfucking city, so y'all know who I am, man. I'm just uh fresh out again. <laughs> it's time to step on niggas' necks again, man. You hear me? This my shit. Man, for real. Man. By the way, uh, free walk down. <laughs> to e free. I know, fuck, I know you got it. Taco Talks TV. 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 Man, young Jose. Rest in peace to swipe on YC. Taco Talks TV. I was saying though, man, no, you know, Mr. Roly fucking up his aim. I'm back. So, man, y'all know, man, I got a lot of shit about to drop. I know y'all waiting for that shit. I'm telling y'all, I ain't, I ain't slacking like these niggas, man. I'm just like popping my shit and I'm really living this shit. You like 100% of this shit I'm talking about, I'm living. Y'all can take that shit and run with it. Don't let that shit do so, though. <laughs> Who and what inspired you to get into the music to start rapping? <laughs> What inspired me was my environment. I seen, like, I seen with the raps, with what, what rappers was, how rappers was living, and I just felt like, man, I want to live like that. You know I mean? So I started rapping, but I already knew how to rap though. Like I knew how to put that shit together. So I'm like, man, I might as well rap too. You know I mean? So who inspired me? Who you crank to? I be listening to like. I listen to I listen to Young Boy. I listen to Future. I listen to Lucky Way Out, Walk Down Wheel. I listen to uh, Lil Baby. I listen to DC. You talking about DMV artists? Whoever you cranking to, everybody. I, mean, I crank to who crank. I mean, you know, Lil Baby and them what the baby. You know, I got a song with the baby. Just came home for that. I did six years out of the dirt shit. Came home. Did a song with the baby. That nigga cool as shit, man. I like, I real live special him. Slim ain't had no type of, he ain't had no type of uh, bougie-ness in him or nothing like that. When I first met him, he straight told me, man, look, man, let him back here. We begging and all that. He begging like, man, we can shoot the video right here. We shot the video right then and there. You hear me? <laughs> that shit coming soon. That shit coming soon too. Stay tuned. So, I mean, I be cranking to his shit. I crank the walk down shit. I crank the lucky shit. What can music do for you? Music can do everything for me, for real. I mean, everything that I can't do. Like, music can help me get my brothers, my sisters, my daughters. First of all, music can help me do what I want for my daughters. Have my daughters. I want my daughters to be different. I'm like, I want to get them everything they want that I never had, you feel me? That I want, like I said, I want to move my mother out of here. My brothers, I'm trying, we trying back, we already back to back, and that shit ain't nothing new, but we trying to boss up a little bit more, you and me, if we could. <laughs> But like this music could do that though. This shit could get me out of the trenches for. Like I said, shit could go left any second. Man, with this music shit, man, this shit could change my life, you know me? For real. I mean, shit been just like up and down, man, but that that come with this shit, you know me? Like shit been up and down, I'm saying, because you know, I've been in and out. I ain't gonna act like I'm no jailbird or nothing like that, man. You know, I just did six, came home, you know, got straight to the rap shit. The first time I got locked up, I was young, so I was like, I was like 19, so I was like. I mean, I was stressing. I was stressing my first couple of, like my first year. But like, what was going through my mind, I thought it was over because at the time when I got locked up, we was just about to take off. Like, we was fucking with, what we was fucking with at that time? Chief, Chief Keevan them? Yeah, we was fucking with Chief Keevan them. Like, that's when we was fucking with them. Then we started fucking with Dirt. I went in as soon as we was fucking with Dirt. He was our manager at the time. And you know, you know, he putting that bag behind us. Y'all know who he is. He had that bag behind us. He felt he knew we was gonna make it. Them nigga, that nigga was that nigga was making our ass rap. <laughs> the bullshit, me dog and swag. It was already game. But he got us, he got us on that too though, you feel me? One of my bro well, a couple of my brothers, you know, as y'all know, they just like was uh doing a little promotion and shit like that. So they was just dealing with they was they had their hands and shit. Like I can't tell y'all what they said or what they did, but they got us connected with them. Then we started fucking with them. Yeah, they came down here with a show and shit. With us, I was locked up at that time. That's when I went to jail. They was fucking with niggas and all that. But when I came home, we was fucking with dirt. So, 
fucking with him. You know, he the big. That's when Rondo was home. They was out here. They was the big, like, shit. <laughs> niggas real life, living like that. Like, we got them niggas in the trenches. Say some shit behind the wheel, but he had them niggas in that fast shit drifting. You heard me? Uh, other than that, other than that, man, we weren't really on that, though, man, you know? It was cool, them niggas. All that shit, all that shit niggas be thinking about like celebrities different and all that, man. Them niggas just like us, bro. Them niggas real came to the trenches, real living like us. They on the same business we on. So like, I feel like, man, damn, I'm just like about to miss everything. So and then my brother dog died. So I'm like, damn, this shit just like going left all the way. We ain't had no more rappers out here. So when I got real, when I came home, and did it again. I knew I was about to take off. I was telling bro, I'm every day, bro. When I was in jail, they'd tell you, man. When I come home, we gonna take off. I kept telling them that. I kept telling them that I came home, and just sim, I did it. Like I, I, I like did what I said I was gonna do. Six months, I was looking sweet, less than that. But when I got rearrested, I ain't. I thought it was over all the way. Man. I thought I wasn't coming home no time soon. I knew they was on bullshit because I didn't get caught with nothing. I ain't get cool with shit, but they took my chains, and that was the evidence. <laughs> so I knew they was on bullshit. I sat down with my A on Max. I'm stabbing this right here, man. This shit ain't no, ain't no host or nothing like that, man. Bro, told me, uh, Shay told me my first day in, bro, I'm gonna get you out of jail, bro. Like, my early day in jail, I was stressing. Like, thinking I wasn't about to come out here, that man got me out of jail, yeah? That's real life, bro. Like, that's, that's what we do for each other. You feel me? But that what was going through my head at the time, I was just looking at bro like, he probably like, I'm just getting on his motherfucking nerves. I'm looking at this nigga every day. <laughs> like, man, bro, get me the fuck out of here, bro. Like, I gotta get the fuck. You with me? My little sister cursing my ass out, I crashed out again. Like, the whole time I'm just thinking, like, I ain't get back with shit. Like, what the fuck I'm in jail for? Like, I, I didn't get caught with around shit, like, nothing. Like, this shit is some, like, some movie shit. You with me? <laughs> Like, I thought it was over, bro. For real. Then they snatched me again for my video, man. Y'all know, 100,000 views, man. Run that shit up some more for me, though, but... You know, they snatched me for that shit. I beat that shit, you know. Now I'm out here. They got me on this goofy-ass box. <laughs> this y'all goofy as shit, too. And this y'all dead. I'm out here trying shit with that. Hey, how it make you feel the police treat us like that? It make me feel like, man, fuck the police. <laughs> I bet feeling like that, but I ain't supposed to treat us like that, because that's how I feel. I just feel like, man, it should be fair. Like, y'all got a license to kill. Why we can't have that shit? You know I mean? Y'all out there like, killing us. I feel like, man, it should be something like where they, the laws that, that we got to abide by, they got to abide by that shit too. Like, I feel like, motherfucking, I feel like, man, when they was kids, they was bitches. <laughs> so that's why they treat us like that, though. You feel me? So, like, I said, man, I understand, but I just feel like shit should be fair. You know hear I me? Mean? Though. We ain't on shit though, man, you know. Like, other than that, shit been cool, man. I just, you know, I just know, like, I gotta move different now, you know. That's cool, though. What's next? What's on the way? Man, on the way, man, I got, a tape. I got two tapes about to drop. We got a surprise tape for y'all, man. You know y'all been waiting for that shit. You know, I ain't gonna speak on nothing I ain't about to do, man. I promise y'all. I'm telling y'all this at the beginning of my career. I never tell y'all nothing I'm gonna do and don't do it. I'm standing on everything I do. All my fans, all my niggas that ain't, all the niggas that ain't fans, man. I love y'all all, man. I'm just telling y'all I'm standing on everything.